All right, so guys, we're gonna start our new campaign today. We're gonna be playing Dragon Heist. Um, it came out a couple years ago. We actually play tested it, um, run by a really, really good DM of mine. So I'm like, I gotta play, so we're gonna run it. So, um, you guys start in in Waterdeep. All right. So, oh, maybe I'll back up a sec. So, um, Forgotten Realms. So, um, Forgotten Realms is like this kind of big D and D setting. It's it's been sort of available since like 19. Uh, 1987. Oh, I actually heard it was 1989. Well, actually, <laughs> I started writing it in 1965, and it was in Dragon Magazine from 79. But you're right. Dark Rock Arm Moonshake came out in 1987, closely followed by the box set. So you're all right. <laughs> okay. So 1965, before D&D &D started, uh, we, had, we had the setting. And uh, so what's going on is uh, you guys are in Waterdeep and you are hanging out in the Yawning Portal. Waterdeep's like a relatively new place, right? Mm -hmm. From Waterdeep, like that's new. That yeah, had... it, was, it was in 5th edition first time. Yeah, like that's when I first saw it as 5th edition because mm, that's when I started playing. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Waterdeep, uh, Waterdeep first appeared in 1966, if you'll cast your minds back, you know, when the world was sepia and white and everybody would jerk when they walked. Um, um, yeah, be, about a decade before D and D, Water Deep was deep water. It was a deep water harbor, and deep water harbor sounded like someplace in Maine. So I decided, Water Deep. So well, that's when Water Deep started. But in the game, Water Deep's been around for centuries. The bodies have been piling up. In fact, the the city is built on them oh, wow. <laughs> for centuries. That's cool. Yeah. So, and I take it we're not. We, there are no bodies lying on the table. Uh, no, no, no. We're, we're going to be starting in the Yawning Portal. So uh, part of the whole deal with the Yawning Portal is that it's got a big hole in it. Uh, it's, a, it's a tavern and an inn kind of built in there. And it's got a big hole that goes all the way into the Undermount. Um, I think it's like a hundred and... He's not talking about the bar tech. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of about the week. Yeah, no. <laughs> and, uh, oh, it's one of those. <laughs> And, uh... <laughs> Boy, you were very quiet, Vale. I already SMC. forgot where we were. <laughs> <laughs> we're, in the we're in a lady named Yawning Portal. Yeah. She sounds exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I think we needed a camera. We need yeah, that. That we we that's what we really need. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dying over here. <laughs> Um. Bad decision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, <laughs> we'll be here till Tuesday. <laughs> Hope you're back on Tuesday. <laughs> I'm at this table. <clears throat> All right. Are we in a tavern? Yes, we are in <laughs> literally the yawning portal. The yawning portal to the tavern. Oh, that's a tavern. Oh yeah. my god. The yeah. <laughs> yawning portals. Okay. You are in. <laughs> I'll join you. All right. Uh, so the portal is actually like multiple floors and whatnot. So you're on the main floor, and uh, you sit around a sturdy wooden table, uh, brightly burning candles and little wood plates, cleared food and half-drained tankards. Uh, the sound of gamblers yelling and drunken adventurers, lots of adventurers in here, singing body songs, nearly drowned out the off-key strumming of a young bard a few tables over. Oh my God, is it me? Sure, if you want. I'm doing it. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Strum while he finishes talking. Yeah. Can yeah, do. You can do. You can do that. Yeah. It out. You is it a happy song that. or a sad song? I'm gonna do a sad one. Yeah, do whatever you like. So the tension in in, in Waterdeep has actually been really really high recently. There's a lot of stuff going on, and, and just there's been, you know, from like uh, alley muggings and and other stuff to. Um, all out, almost all at war on the streets. And the, the rumor is, is that a couple of the gangs in the city are at it, are basically basically fighting. And uh, as you guys sit there, <clears throat> um, shouts of alarm suddenly ring as a hulking creature climbs out of the shaft in the middle of the tap room. That's the yawning portal. <laughs> Ooh, battle. And basically, Crawls out of here, 
And does the creature actually look like that? It actually does. It is a troll, mm. um, which you may not, as first level adventurers, you may not have seen or heard before. Uh, or sorry, you may not have seen before, but you do actually see. And attached to it, um, sorry, let me go back here. Monster with warty green skin and a tangled nest of wiry black hair. A long carrot shaped nose and bloodshot eyes as it bears its yellow teeth and howls. You can see half a dozen bat-like creatures attached to its body with three more circling above as it flies. Everybody in the tavern reacts with fear except for the barkeep, Durnan, who shouts, troll. So basically at this point, you guys can roll me initiative as we start and we can kind of get into it. Is, is Durnan yelling troll as a warning? To the rest of us, or is he is he yelling troll because the troll hasn't like ordered anything yet? Could be both. Mm. Okay, but uh, uh, Durnan, you know, Durnan's a, a pretty old character, I guess. He's uh, he's the barkeep. Um, he's human, but he's been around since what twelve hundred dr, something like that. Mm -hmm. He's human, and he's been around that old. He's he's, he's been around since the early. About the second de decade of the 1300s. Close enough. So close enough. Yeah. 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 It's like 1498 or something yeah. like that right um, now. So it's several hundred years. It, yeah. Durnan um, uh, got rich in a dungeon and settled down and married his high school sweetheart, which is why he's here. And one of the things he did while equipping the uh, yawning portal was drink four potions of longevity. So, <laughs> <laughs> which. Which were in the game then and are still in the realms because, well, actually, it doesn't matter what they put in any game edition. Lore in the realms remains the lore of the realms. And uh, I rolled an 18, but maybe you're only using D6s for initiative. <laughs> no, no, okay. we're, we're good. Okay. Uh, I got a 17. I rolled an 8. <laughs> Higher than you normally do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, 18 goes first. What would you like to do? This troll's injured. It's got bat-like things or sturges uh, flying around, and uh, you're sitting at a table, and uh, I, it is your turn. <laughs> I get up from my chair, and okay. I offer the troll my chair. Take a load off. Here's a good, good place <laughs> to bleed, isn't it? <laughs> okay, uh, roll. Uh, I guess roll me persuasion? <laughs> <laughs> With this advantage, I'm going to say, just because three. Okay. <laughs> but you might get lower. You should hold your <laughs> you can... <laughs> <laughs> So the troll takes one one look at you and uh, bites the chair. Um, so he doesn't seem to be amicable towards towards that. Oh, he's hungry. Mm, mm, he's most he's likely. Famine. Yeah, yeah. You should sure. offer him food next time. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, that you know, we'll yeah, here? I, I, yeah, I'm, he's hard. Gonna... I'm not heavy on the pickup lines. <laughs> I should have changed the character a little bit. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll move the troll over there. That's not. He came to bite the chair, right? That was the. Well, he off. He went over and offered the chair to him. Oh, you offered it over there to him. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, I carried the I chair see. over. I see. <laughs> move your minion. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm like, but well, we were in the middle of a conversation. That was getting good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Danny, what is your? So the the troll is hurt. I'm assuming he doesn't like these things. Yeah, it's got sturges on him, but they're sucking blood. Eating him. He doesn't seem happy about it. No, he's pretty irate. I mean, do you speak giant? No. <laughs> okay. Do I? <laughs> no. <laughs> I do not. Um, I'm yeah, going to use <laughs> poison spray. All right, poison spray. <laughs> uh, make me an attack roll. All right. For those who are wondering why oh, she's oh. making an attack roll. That's good. Um, it's because we're using uh, 2024 rules and Poison Spray's attack cool now. Uh, it is a 23, Bob. Yeah, that is. All right, cool. Were you attacking the troll or are you attacking the Sturges? The, the Sturges. Okay. okay, you hit the, one of the Sturges. He's it, not it dies. It. Oh. It, it, yeah, they don't have any points. Way to go. It explodes. <laughs> you, you fire off this, like, you know, blast of a uh, of, of poison and just, it just basically explodes and it got <laughs> down into the hole. Perfect. All right. Uh, I love when things go down in holes. <laughs> uh, um, well, excellent. at this point, during the <laughs> <laughs> it's not that kind of game. <laughs> you might hear. <laughs> <coughs> well, then. at this point, Jordan's going to run out and basically come in with, uh, hits the 
hits the troll with a mm. with a great sword. Um, and he misses. He was a patron. This is no, no, actually, doesn't miss. He's he's pretty high level. Um, yeah, he hits it, he hits uh, the troll and basically tries to try, let's try to push him back down the hole here. Um, so me, your turn. Is this an often occurrence in your tavern uh, during the night? I say you can see a lot of people are, are attacking. Some people are running. Some okay. people are just drinking. So it's it's not so uncommon that um, they're they're nonplussed, but they're also used to this kind of thing. Are people are they people attacking the troll? Some of the people attack a troll, some people are running in their, for their lives, and some people are just stealing drinks. <laughs> <laughs> for the people who rent, yes. Yeah. Okay, I say, my friends, should we not see what ails the troll before we assault it? Do not all creatures deserve a chance to have their day said? Why do we so quickly jump to violence? I am trying to persuade the crowd to not attack the troll. This is uh, species profiling. This is nothing to me. This is species profiling. I just, it's just... As okay. A, as a uh, non-human looking race, come up well, you know, Durnan's busy giving the the troll the shaft. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's his and the blade, technically. But yeah, I mean, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is terrible customer service. <laughs> yeah, well, um, <laughs> I was gonna say, if this is how you treat all your, 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 your fellows. He must be a regular. You seem to know him so well. Do you want me rolling? Yeah, you can roll persuasion <laughs> if you like. All right, I would yeah. like. Yeah, disadvantage. disadvantage? No, you just roll it normally. Okay. It's fine. Wait, don't you remember uh -huh. the troll? I will give you a nine. <laughs> I mean, you should roll. You yeah, roll yeah. Well. <laughs> one, one, one of the one patrons like, yeah, yeah, and you can you can see he's like the one that's like pocketing people's okay. drinks and, and whatnot. <laughs> We are the most persuasive bards yeah, I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, it's great. You guys are doing excellent. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now I know why I need expertise so much. <laughs> All right. So the uh, the troll, uh, actually top of the round, is, is back to Ed. Right. Yeah. Well, seeing what Durnan's doing, yeah. I'm going to help Durnan. Okay. I'm going to help Durnan force the troll back down the shaft. So I... <laughs> Strip my sleeves. All right. But my last trace of fear was gone when I first put this armor on. And I lay hands on the troll and shove him down the chair. All right. Uh, make me... Or attempt to. Yeah. Uh, so it's, that's, you know, it's an unarmed strike uh, for basically grappling the troll's pushing. Yeah. So, yep. Fifteen. Um, yeah. 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 That, 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 that will hit the troll and you will... He will basically try to resist. And I'm rolling terrible today. He's trying to resist <clears throat> me? Yeah. Like singing and everything? <laughs> well, you, you, you can. You're all bards. I mean, you could bardic inspiration each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. You never <laughs> met before. We just jumped. I'm just sitting there having a drink. I'm just getting to know the guy. He runs off and. Part of my control. competition. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you basically, you know, hands on the troll and. Well, okay, you... I am a bit handsy for a first date. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. I, I, I mean, he's like, buy me a drink first, but you ended up like kind of like, and just toss him over the edge, and you're. Uh, <laughs> you look down the shop, and he's still moving. I mean, it's a troll; he's going to regenerate. Um, uh, but that, that's good. The whole thing, Dernan's like, good job. You, you look, you look familiar, actually. And um, as you guys, everything sort of calms down. I mean, I will uh, actually. <clears throat> actually, you it does sit. Down. You basically. Um, so I just poked myself in the stomach. Uh, as you guys look, a lot of the patrons kind of cleared your thing. You got some extra drinks thing. Dernan stares at you, kind of. You look really familiar. And he goes back to the bar, and sitting at your table, and he beckons this, this gentleman with a you know a little offset hat and whatever beckons you over and says uh, a, a, a drink a drink for all, for, for all of you um, I, I have a proposal for you uh, my name is Volo hey. he's from Baldur's Gate 3 I, <laughs> <laughs> he, oh, he dies in Baldur's Gate 3 not in my game <laughs> well, actually he shouldn't be able to die because he's a weave anchor protected by Mistra. So that must have either been a false follow, or she's playing a game. Oh, interesting. But then, from what I've seen of her in Baldur's Gate, that Mistra plays games. The Gale of a game. I was going to say she's dating Gale. 
dating? That's a pretty strong word for what she did. <laughs> <laughs> dating dating. Im- dating implies, you know, like they got to know each other. And they went to a movie. Yeah. <laughs> Bought each other drinks or a meal. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, I'm drawing the veil of decency over that. Yes, uh, I, am, I have heard of Lolotham Gedarm, um, writer of filthy chapbooks and travel guides that are somewhat useful if you're drunk enough. <laughs> um, and Volo began his career in, I'm going to say, 1969, but not under that name. The Volo that you know is named for the Volo Bog. And the there's now a, actually a town of Volo with a water tank and everything that says Volo on it that didn't exist back then. Um, we need an unreliable narrator for the realm, so... <laughs> Jeff Grubb came up with, and I added the Thant Gedarm to Volo. So wait, where, 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 where did like the name was just random? No, Volo Bog is south of um, Lake Geneva, across the uh, state line in Illinois. If you drive up through Sturdivant and uh, Nippersink, yeah, you drive past the Volo Bog, which is a protected area because it's a bog. And Americans have been filling in and draining their bogs at a great rate across the entire continent. So they decided to keep one. And <laughs> if you drive Route 12 south through Richmond, you will drive past the Volo Bog, into which Volo should be thrown and repeated. Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so he's, uh, he basically looks at all of you, says, Brave adventurers, I don't even know your names. And at this point, you can introduce your characters to each other. Oh. <clears throat> Should I go first? Yes. All right. I, uh, I obviously I'll take off my hat, a conveniently dragonborn-sized shaped hat that morphs depending on what it looks like. And I say, I am Illustro the Shining One, Gold Dragon, <clears throat> and Performer, um, and Sword for Hire, or Dagger for Hire. Awesome. That's as far as I got in my backstory creation. <laughs> so uh, that's as far as you get. Basically, he's a uh, dragonborn man who covers it. Is what I'm going to try to play on this. Oh my goodness! All right, all right, Danny. So I am playing as Lyra, so- Sweet Song. Uh, I am a traditional bard, so very much dancing, singing, playing music, slut, and so forth. Wow. Yeah. I am strangely interested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the tiefling. Oh, and tiefling. Oh, I love how she is. No. Horns, tail. Yep. Did I forget? I, to say? I felt like it didn't need to be said. Well, yeah. Mm. <laughs> a horny piece of tail. Yes. <laughs> the horny piece of tail. A there you go. Horny piece of tail. <laughs> uh, uh, all the character <laughs> <I need. laughs> uh, <clears throat> Server, could I have a pound of foreign climbs? <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, I am Folderol Mockery. Human Bard. That is, of course, not my real name. It's my stage name. You don't get to know my real name unless you become serious with me, Bolo, and I prefer girls. Sweet. Challenging? <laughs> <laughs> so you have to make it really good. <laughs> well, better persuasion again, he looks, yeah. again, he looks at you and says, Do I know you? Have we met before? You seem awfully familiar. Are you talking to all of us or just... No, just the... Okay. Ah, yes. Perhaps you've felt my cold hand up your backside a time or two as I move pieces around the floor. That's quite strange. <laughs> uh, but you see, being a, being a bard, I have to say all these weird, strange things because otherwise people would just backhand me across the face because I'm an annoying human being. <laughs> I act like mysterious and special, and as if I am of the marvelous, not just some joke, <laughs> then perhaps I will get thrown out more slowly. <laughs> Still get thrown out. Yeah. Just at a slower rate. At a slower rate. I can pull it time. <laughs> <clears throat> so the figure who uh, has sat down at your table um, strokes his mustache the same way you just did. Adjusts a sloppy hat and tightens his scarf. Bolo Thap Gedarn, as you had said. Chronicle, chronicler, wizard, celebrity, at your service. 
Um, but I am in need of your services. I trust you noticed the violence in our city these past 10 days. Uh, I haven't made so much blood since I last visited Baldur's Gate. You've heard of Baldur's Gate before, right? You were playing the game. Yes. It's that, it's that, yeah. game. It's that video game. It's a video game. It's the largest port south of Waterdeep until you get to Kalamshad. As cattle will claim to be larger, but that's just number of coins, not number of people. A lot of people claim to be larger. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a common fail. Yes. Uh, but Baldur's Gate's been around since some. Um, yeah. Mm. The games. Welcome to Well Actually, <laughs> where the premise of it is to show you what, it like, what it's like to play D&D &D with people you care about being around, and also the creator of the Forgotten Realms. And also. <laughs> and also one of the most important people in the world. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Ed. We love oh, you. Oh, yeah. my pleasure. When does this important bit start? <laughs> we'll get to it. Give me a, give me like, like 10 minutes. All right. Oh, dry run number one. Let's go for it. <laughs> oh, dry number one. What yeah. do you mean number one? This, this is all dry. No, no, they're all, they're all dry runs. <laughs> it's all dry runs. runs. All dry runs. Dry runs. Dry dry run. run. More lube at table two. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that camera's running. Right? <laughs> they're both running. They're all running. <laughs> this is gonna be the outro. <laughs> this is actually the outro. <laughs> <laughs> no, the outro, the outro is everybody game. laughing. <laughs> this is what a real game. This, like. yeah, this is I, this is none of that stuff that you see online. This is actual game. Yeah, this is D&D like, with everyone. D &D. <laughs> <laughs> this is D&D &D every table. Yes, exactly. and that was really part of it. Was like yeah. this is this is this is how you play D&D. Like, yeah, not not all this, but it's you know, what is it, an hour of dick jokes and. Well, we should be equal opportunity. We should have non dick jokes. Well. Except, yeah, we okay. don't usually go. There, there is one okay. thing that we are not replicating, and that somebody's mother with an apron and thing of cookies coming in in the middle. <laughs> just one second, she's like, So I fuck her on the altar. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, but just in that moment, mom no, comes come down the door with cookies and says, What? Uh, <laughs> should I come back? <laughs> Now you just have to have people trying to swat you playing Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm coming with cookies. Get out of here, mom! You guys are the candy version. <laughs> I just aged myself. So <laughs> like, who is this forty-year-old thinks he knows shit about gaming? We Wait. were around before the Rick well, We were all around before the Rick Games. Yeah. Anyway, well, not this game. We were all around. Before. Yep. It was around. You were around before. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There were no video games. Have you played any for it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> This is where you say, well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's explain. You know that, 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 meme, that meme that goes, <laughs> yes, the more yeah, you know. Um, no, no, the you know the guy who's like, magic. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have like yeah, the yeah. sparkle. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. Our, that's our well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> well. All right. Actually, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to oh, laugh. Wait. I'm not going to laugh. How are you going to get going now? <laughs> I know. No. We are going. This is the video. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is just. This is all in. I'm editing. Okay. Things. So, <laughs> opening whatever it was. so the serious. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Serious. Next time, everybody goes to Canadian Tire. You buy those little kitty shop vices. Yeah. The yeah. ones that are supposed to clamp on the end thing. Yeah. You clamp it on your dick. <laughs> and then you can start serious because, <laughs> ow, I'm in pain. Ow. I will have an issue with that. <laughs> well, you get to pull it up. <laughs> And if you can pull it off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's okay, you can bleep stuff and still get sponsored. <laughs> this is literally our D&D game. This is how we play it. Welcome to Stormcrow. <laughs> yes, welcome to Stormcrow. No, we have more gay jokes. That's true. We have one gay, we have one gay guy in our group. And we tell more gay jokes. Not that, that we have a quote. quote uh, no, a quote. no quote. <laughs> it just happened. It just happened. Just happened. <laughs> we didn't just hit her one. Like, one, <laughs> one, <laughs> one, one woman. You know, one lady, <laughs> one minority. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, this is more accurate about the way the world works. Two Asians, and then the rest of you. <laughs> you people. Okay, this is going great. <laughs> hey. You people. I mean, what? What? <laughs> you should form a gang. <laughs> oh god, here come the hoods. <laughs> Yay. Hey. Like you know what you're doing. Well, you, you know, you realize this is D&D, &D, right? <laughs>